Hi there, we have another version for you. It's 1.60.0. So let's dive in what's new. We have two new strategies and the first one is global filters. So this is something a lot of users have requested. You can think of it as a workspace where you can filter out globally um, any kind of category. So it will filter out your habits, goals, tasks and projects and categories underneath that category. So this could be really useful if you have a job where you use Marvin and you use Marvin for your personal things and at work you don't really want to have any of your personal stuff show on the screen just in case um, a coworker comes by. So I've already set this up and you can see here at the top right there will be this global filter um, button and you can like here I made one for Marvin, so all of the non-Marvin stuff gets removed from all of your Marvin. The second strategy that we added in this release is called Top of Mind. And as you can see, when I turn this on, there is this window that pops up that you can drag around and resize. And this window actually stays in front of all of your applications that you use on your computer so that it's always top of mind, whatever you want to put there. And you can go into the settings and actually decide what task it should show there. And you have a lot of options if it's just uh, what you're currently tracking so that you don't get lost when you're trying to actually accomplish one of the tasks. Or you could also always have it show whatever's next on your today list so that you're kind of reminded to keep moving along your to-do list or any smart list that you can set. And if you're not using time tracking, you can also have it show the current item in super focus mode, which is a good alternative um, where you can decide what you're currently doing. So you can also use that. Um, there's also a time block option and we've made it so that if you're running a timer, it also shows in this window. Um, this is not super flexible, like you can interact with it, and that's because we wanted this feature to work for the web application and desktop application. So we're quite limited by what the browser allows you to do. We can extend the functionality is for just desktop apps only in the future, but we just wanted to get this out so everybody can use it. So those were the two strategies. And let's dive into some smaller stuff that we've added. You can now export your habit history. And we've added a new recurring task type, which is just something one of you wanted. And a lot of people thought that this is a really good idea and they've never seen this anywhere. And it was pretty easy for us to add. Uh, and that's this pattern of on and off. If you maybe want to have a task that is showing up daily for five days and then it's not showing up for five days, Sometimes this is useful for, you know, certain diet patterns or um, exercise routines and things like that. Then we also made it so you can deep link goals. Deep linking, if you're not familiar, is just a feature where you can copy a link to a goal or project and then link, you know, put that link anywhere in your Marvin or outside of Marvin and it will take you straight there. So you can go straight to your goals. We've also added a sort by suggested and suggested is just what the algorithm um, that we've implemented suggests you do next. And it's using a bunch of different data from your tasks from priority to due dates and how much you've worked on it and how long you've procrastinated it. So it's basically the same as this strategy. It's just now you can also sort entire lists by that. Um, then in the focus picker, we've implemented a search. This is just another feature where you can pick what category or project you want to focus on each day. I'm just showing this because I know there's so many strategies. I think a lot of users <laughs> haven't even discovered most of them. So maybe this is helpful. So this is this strategy here where every day you'll get a prompt and saying, hey, what do you want to focus on today? Because some people, they like that kind of workflow where they figure out what they want to focus on based on how they feel that day. And so now it's just a bit easier to find the project or category that maybe you want to pick. We've also changed a bit 
um, how the dark mood works because a lot of people have that already in their system that it switches to dark mood and now in the theme settings you can have it automatically switch to dark mode based on your system settings so you just have to click that check mark there then this was also actually very highly requested um, and I think we still have more work to do with this week scheduler but it just shows you your events here now if you're not seeing your events click on this i and make sure that this check box is checked here and you can see your events in this week scheduler as well then we have also added a setting um, because we recently changed that underneath smart lists or project list or label list it shows you what you've completed in that list and not always just what you've completed today that this isn't just always following you around no matter where you are up here uh, but some people prefer it the other way so we have added that as a setting so you can switch back if you don't like the new way and similarly we've made it so that you have some indicators um, whenever Marvin is thinking you can disable that as well and we've noticed that in the timers it was asking you as option if you have actually successfully completed a Tom Pomodoro work session so it doesn't move on until you've kind of confirmed it and now it can also ask you about the pause so the pause doesn't automatically go into the work session but it pauses and then you can you know maybe take a longer break if you need it and manually go back into a work session the timers also have another option now of how they're visually displayed and I think I actually have that already turned on so yeah it's just this ring here not a illustration if you like a bit of a cleaner look and in the desktop app which is not released yet if you're watching this video right when it comes out um, you will be able to see what task you're currently tracking in the system tray on the very top then we've added a few settings on how day themes are shown because this was also an issue that cropped up and we've added a factory reset because this was also highly requested i think a lot of people are coming back to their marvin account after having tried it before and this is under account and it will reset um everything so all your data will be gone so definitely back up if you don't want that to happen um it can be used um maybe to speed up your marvin if you like and so you could back it up do factory reset then you start with a completely fresh database and then upload your data again because when you delete the items they do stay in the database for sync reasons so this might help but um i think habit data is not synced and some goal data so you definitely want to be careful and we've also just added a quick keyboard shortcut shift e lets you quickly add a event you know and shift p for project shift t for task was already there now it's just more consistent because you can also add an event and if you've ever wondered for a recurring task how long it takes you on average to do it you can now go to the recurring event parent so let me find one here and if you go to show history it will tell you um, how long it usually takes you now this is just dummy data so you can't see but you would see here your average and how long it's been the most and the least time it's taken you in the past now it is not archive mode so it only goes six weeks back um, so keep that in mind yeah i think that's it and we have also worked a lot on some other new things that will come out in the next release most likely